so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy, and look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go. Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum. <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow. And this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here. But hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa, do you know what animal, bird, is the color pink? Yeah, flamingos. Okay, let me set this down right here. <laughs> and then let's grab the snacks and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. It's John! Hey! Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good. Welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers. Oh. And these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Whoa. Hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh, hello, flamingos. Hey! Wow. These flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray, yeah, whitish gray. And then when they get older, they turn the color pink because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa, that is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller then the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs. Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show. Whoa, another great animal. This place is awesome. Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk. Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk, and if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah. It's a really strong smell, and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before, and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah. So why do they spray again? It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands. And that says, hey, don't mess with me. More bad things are coming. And if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. <laughs> That's funny. What's Harry eating? 
today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit, he even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs> Oh, check it out! <laughs> Another cute animal! Whoa! This is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo! Whoa! Eduardo is a three-banded armadillo. Whoa! And it looks like he's eating some insects. Those look so yummy for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably gonna think my shoes are really cool because they smell so let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello? Hey, how are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah, three banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. Do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute! And his fingernails are so long, or toenails. And he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go! Whoa, check it out! Look, this is a hawk! But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Harris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty. Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small? Or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, shh, looks so sharp. Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. Whoa. Check out Cisco. Wow. Whoa, so majestic. Wow. Hey, Cisco. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Another amazing animal. Whoa. This is a burrowing owl. Whoa. What's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow, does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow. And Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa. Is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night, but Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa, that is so cool. Papu is so cute. Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Check it out. This is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow, do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah, and she is a red-tailed boa constrictor. Whoa. Look at her, just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I hope she is having a great day. Whoa, she is so big. Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters 
long. Whoa, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah. She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> Check it out. This is blue, and blue is a blue tongued skink. <laughs> she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs. <laughs> but she's not. She's actually a lizard. Whoa! She is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, geez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them, hey! They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle. But these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert. Yeah, whoa, that makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah, I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa, what a great animal! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I. P-P-I, Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, I'm at a marina. Yeah, marinas. Our body of water where a bunch of boats live. <laughs> so cool. But hey, check this out. Wow. Today, we're at the Marine Life Center in Bellingham, Washington. And you and I are going to learn a lot about some cool creatures and fish. Yeah, I love fish. Woohoo, let's go. my ocean friends on the ceiling here. Wow, are those sharks right there? They sure are, they're dog sharks. Oh, that's cool. Well, it's a very good painting, but hey, do you mind if I go explore the marine life center? Please do. <laughs> wow, check this place out. Wow, this is gonna be so much fun learning about marine life. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, do you see that? That is a skate. Yeah, it's hard to see because it blends in so good with the rock surrounding it. Yeah, just like how I kind of blend in with this creature right here, because we're both the color orange, the skate blends in with the rocks, and that is called camouflage. Whoa! Yeah, that helps keep it safe from its predators. Whoa! Oh, check out this tank. Oh, looks like there's some cute fish in there. Hello. Hey. Wow. They're just swimming around and they look like they are having fun. Oh, what else is in here? Oh, looks like some seaweed and some rocks. Yeah, Casey says there's actually an eel in here. Whoa. And she's going to come feed it. Yeah. Hey, Blippi, did you find the wolf eel? 
She's hiding inside of her den. Sometimes, if she's hungry, she'll come out and say hello. It looks like she has a grumpy face, but she's actually my friend. Sometimes she likes belly rubs and treats. Her favorite is shrimp. Let's see if we can get her to eat. Wow, such cool animals in here. I love all these creatures. Whoa, check it out. Wow, inside this tote, there is a kelp crab. Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, look at him. Here, let me move this piece of kelp. Whoa, there he is. Whoa, the cool thing about this kelp crab, yeah, is it's camouflage. Yeah, he camouflages by eating things. If he starts to eat things that are light brown, then he starts to turn light brown himself. Or if he eats things that are dark brown, like this piece of kelp, then he blends in to that dark brown piece of kelp. Whoa, so cool. Oh, look, a shrimp. Hello, shrimp. You are so cute. You want to be pet? Yep, there you go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, it is so cute. Hey, speaking of shrimp, check this out. Whoa, doesn't that look like a shrimp? Yeah, it looks like the shell of the shrimp. Wow. Yeah, shrimp and crab, they do what's called molt. Yeah, that's where the outside of them, their shell, yeah, comes off of them. And this, whoa, <laughs> this is just a shrimp shell because it came off the shrimp. <laughs> oh, look at these critters. Wow, these are both hermit crabs. Whoa, yeah, they're crabs that are inside shells. Whoa, check out what happens when I pick it up. It's gonna go inside the shell. All right. Whoa, did you see that? Whoa, yeah, it used to be outside the shell, but now it's inside the shell to protect itself. Okay, I'm gonna gently put it back right there. Whoa, look at this tank. Looks like there's some crabs in here, some fish. There's a lot of cool things in here. A lot of seaweed. Oh, do you see all those fish down there? Hello, fish. Hey, are you hungry? Yeah. Hey, check it out. Looks like I have some yummy food for these fish. Yeah, this is actually nutrient-dense food for the fish. Yeah, it's just like you and I eating vegetables, basically. Oh, <laughs> really good for us. All right, here you go, fish. All right, all right. all of these shells. They are so pretty. This one is so big. Look at it. Whoa. It's almost as big as my hand. Wow. Okay. Whoa. And this one is so shiny. Wow. Oh. And this one is so pokey. <laughs> wow. Oh. Here's another pokey one. But those are little teeny pokes. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Oh, hey, what's this doing here? Look, it's a stuffed animal. And this stuffed animal is a stingray. Wee, wee. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we explore this area and see if we can find any more stuffed animals? <laughs> oh, check it out. A giant sea turtle. Whoa, sea turtles are so cool. They're so graceful, just swimming in the water. Flapping, flapping, flapping. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We have two salmon. Whoa, looks like one is spawning and the other one is not. Whoa, look at salmon go. Wow, salmon are some cool fish. They get so big yeah these would be small salmon in the wild okay let me set them right over here so they don't fall in there whoa a giant sea lion 
Well, this one would be really teeny, but sea lions get so big and they make the sound ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and it's so silly. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, let's put you back right there. Whoa, you found another one. Wow, a giant clam. Look, it's like a hard shell. Yeah. Whoa, look, it opened up. And do you see what's inside? Yeah, we found a pearl. Whoa, that is so pretty. Whoa, so shiny. <laughs> I actually heard pearls get created from irritation. I think that's true. Whoa, look down here. Whoa, another shell. Yeah, this is a hermit crab. Yeah, check it out. See a crab? And then it actually goes inside its shell for protection, see? Yeah, it goes like this on the ground. And then it opens up. And then it crawls around. And then it goes inside. <laughs> okay, we'll keep you right there. Here you go. <laughs> Whoa, another one. Yeah, this is a fish. And do you see how flat it is? Yeah, it lays down flat. Its two eyes are on top of its body. Yeah, and it just hangs out on the bottom of the seafloor. And this is a halibut. And halibuts can get so big. Yeah, this one would be a small one. <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Do you know what kind of animal this is? Nay. Nay. Yeah, that's a hint. Yeah, this is a seahorse. Yeah, it looks kind of like a horse, huh? Oh, cute swirly little tail. And look at what it has right in its little pouch. Little baby seahorses. Ooh. Hey, wow. You're so colorful. Whoa. Okay. Okay, let's see. Whoa, a couple more. Yeah. Check this out. A killer whale. Yeah, an orca. Wow, they are so cute. Wow, an octopus. Octopuses are so smart. Yeah, and they have eight long tentacles. Woo! With suckers on the bottom to hold on to things. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, looks like we have some whales right here. Oh, whales can get so big. They get massive and they breathe air. They go and then suck in air and they can go underwater and stay underwater for so long. Oh, hey, look. A beluga whale. Wow, it's so bright and white. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like snow. Yeah, beluga whales actually love to be in really cold, frigid water. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Whoa, check it out. Hey, what is this? This is one of our crab pots, and by golly, we have a lot of crabs in here today. Yeah, we do. There are so many of them. What kind of crabs are these? These are called graceful or slender crabs, and they look a lot wow. like a Dungeness crab. Have yeah. you ever seen a Dungeness before? Yeah, aren't they a little bigger than that? They sure are. Yeah. These are almost fully grown. Whoa, can we take one out and see it a little closer? Even better, we could probably take two and figure out which one's a boy and which one's a girl. Okay, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> we just got two crabs in here. All right, okay, how do you tell if it's a boy or a girl on these? Oh, well, that's a great question. I get that a lot. So I like to start with the female crab, the girl crab, and we look at her belly, we flip her over gently on her back, she kind of calms down, and we look for a very wide triangle shape here compared to the boy. And that's because she's gonna have eggs inside her tummy there, and she needs extra room. The boy doesn't need that much room. Okay. So that one is a girl and that one is a boy? You got it, Flippy. Whoa, check it out. Wow, that is really cool. And I 
like acting like a crab. Wow! Wasn't that so much fun learning about marine life together? Yeah, that was awesome. Seeing those cute fish and all those creatures. Wow, it's crazy how they live under the water and you and I live on the land. Yeah, it's really important for you and I to help keep the water nice and clean. Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. Good job. All right, well, I'm going to keep learning. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we get to go on this really big boat. Whoa! It's enormous! <laughs> yeah! I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins! <laughs> Hello! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> hey! We made it onto the boat! <laughs> yeah! This boat is awesome because it's not a regular boat. This is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran. <laughs> yeah! Look at all the seats. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here. Yeah, this is a really giant net. Woo! <laughs> but this net, this isn't for catching fish. No. This net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up woo, <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! <laughs> so silly, this brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean! Yeah! Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Whoa, do you see it? Look at this! The ceiling is my favorite color orange! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vests. Look at it. Whoa. Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello! And then you take a clip And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah, but look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa, <laughs> one hat and two hat. Whoa, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's my friend, Captain Christian, and he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around. We make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool. And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. OK, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. Yeah, and that makes the boat go forward, and that makes it go backwards. Okay, cool. And this is a steering wheel, very important part of the boat, and it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You Whoa. wanna try it? Yeah, I wanna try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. <laughs> well, look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car, except this one's really big because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa, <laughs> and what about this right here? 
that's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west, and which direction we want to go. Whoa, that's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello, welcome aboard everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey, I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. <laughs> yeah, she's a real life marine biologist. Uh, hi, Mackenzie. Hi. Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa, that sounds really, really important. Hey, well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals. Maybe Mackenzie can help us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. What's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa, can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm gonna be very gentle though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa, look at all his legs. <laughs> yeah. How many legs does he have? Whoa, hey, let's count the Horseshoe Crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten legs. Whoa. That's a lot of legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Mackenzie, look, it looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving. And our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them but they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa, so if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa, okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm gonna put you back in the water. Bye-bye. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, and Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey, hello. <laughs> Look, this is a starfish. It is. Whoa. Look at how cool he is. His back is kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa. His belly is the color yellow. Oh, Mackenzie. Woohoo. <laughs> He's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of those little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look. Whoa. <laughs> okay, horse, uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put him back in the tank now. Okay, bye-bye, starfish. Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here, and this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. What are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve. <laughs> Just like the clam. Whoa, and is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have oh. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve mollusk. <laughs> and this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm going to let them go back into the water. Whoa, Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy. It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, but he is. He's he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab. And the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusk are snails, but they will also make their own homes. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. 
Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> He's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself, but he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> Uh, whoa, and it looks like he has a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm going to put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Woo. <laughs> whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Woo. <laughs> you mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa. Hey, Mackenzie. Is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa, it's so big, just like the small mollusk. And it has one of these things too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, but it's also called an operculum. And it's entirely made out of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa, operculum. Hmm, that's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm going to put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but a little bit dirty. It mm. is dirty. Cool. I just found this one. This one is fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay <gasps> and they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn and it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean, and you are able to use them in the shower or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa. That was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins. But we're gonna make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat. Because we always wanna be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing. Come on. <laughs> I am so excited to set sail. <laughs> yeah. Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat. Come on. <laughs> hey, Captain Christian. Hey, Blippi. Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah, I am so excited to see some real dolphins. <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> so Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine, and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins. <laughs> yeah! the boat all over the ocean, we finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Let's look! Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see the dolphin? Yeah! Hello! We see the dolphins! Look, it looks like they're friends! 
Hello, dolphins! Whoa! <laughs> this is so cool! Whoa! Look! They're so close! Hello! They're swimming under the boat! Look at what we found! Yeah, this is a seabird sanctuary, and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched. Whoa! <laughs> and that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets. <laughs> and they like to nest together because mm, it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch. And you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here. There are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm, let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah! And they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup. <laughs> but the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah! And they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit, woo! <laughs> well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah. He's sitting just under his mama. Hello! <laughs> Whoa, this bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs. And they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football, start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa, and come here. There's even co more cool birds. Yeah, see this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say, anhinga. Well, look, a pelican! Hello, Mr. Pelican! <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So, when they go under water, they can catch the crabs and fish and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Nhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. Hey, 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 I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah, we saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah. And we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa, it was so much fun. <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing. <laughs> they were so cool. Whoa, look at this. It's time for a bubbles lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, whoa, <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own. Start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off 
all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at it go. It's already looking like the ocean. <laughs> and we wanna make it look like the actual ocean. So we're gonna put a little bit of blue food coloring. Just one drop. One. And maybe we'll put a second drop. Ooh, <laughs> that's just the right amount. And now we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful. This is a little tricky. Woo, we did it! <laughs> Look, all the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. And now it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh, <laughs> all kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. Oh. <laughs> we have, whoa, an octopus. Hmm, <laughs> they're so silly looking. Yeah. We have some crabs. <laughs> crabs and, hmm, yeah, let's put in a, a sea turtle. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so let's grab our animals and we want to get some shells too. So. Just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa, look, this one's like a little spiral shell. Hmm, and I'll just grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, Jellyfish! <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye! -bye. <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water, the only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think it needs a little more water. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. The oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles. Because oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top. Almost to the top. <laughs> Whoa. We're almost done. This looks amazing. <laughs> Okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. Mm -mm. We well, want to keep it nice and clean. So, we're going to take some of this plumber's tape. Kind of just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then, you can ask a grown up to use scissors, make a little cut, and now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're gonna use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use a little tape. And yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water, Get out. We don't want to mess. Okay. <laughs> then press the tape and you have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa! And my favorite part, shaking it up. Whoa, look at it. It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean. <laughs> and the shells, they stay bottom, just like in real life. <laughs> this was so much fun. We made an ocean in the bottle. We saw dolphins in real life. 
we visited Bird Island and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. E-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! Hey! It's me, Blippi. Whoa! And look at where we're at. Whoa! What a cool store! Hey! Wait a second. We're at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Yeah! You know how I like to dance? Whoa! Yeah! Wow! This place is where you can come and dance in one of their studios, and you can even maybe take a dance lesson. Woohoo! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go! Oh, hey! Hello! Who are you? My name is Emily. Ooh. Who are you? I'm Blippi. I'm here for the class. Awesome! Sounds like so much fun. Yeah, what should I do? So, you can go ahead and go back into the studio and I'm going to be able to teach you a dance class today. Okay. So go okay. ahead and start stretching. Okay, let's go stretch and get warmed up. Let's go. Whoa! Check it out! This is a dance studio. This is where you and I are going to learn our dance from Emily. Whoa! Check it out! There's some nice smooth floor. Yeah, it's really shiny. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Look at this! This? Yeah, this looks like a mirror. Whoa, hello! Hey! <laughs> yeah, dance studios have mirrors right in front of you, so then you can practice your dance moves. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Wow! <laughs> and see how you did. I definitely nailed that one. <laughs> okay, remember what Emily said? Yeah, we need to stretch and we need to warm up before she comes in to teach us our dance lesson. Okay, first things first, I need to take off my shoes. Oh, 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 so stinky. <laughs> okay, let's put them right over here. Now we need to stretch. Yeah, we need to stretch our muscles really far and wide so we do not injure ourselves. So first, let's stretch down. See how I'm stretching? Oh, I can almost touch my toes. <laughs> now we need to warm up, she said. Yeah, that means we need to get our body moving in some way or another. I mean, you could jog if you want. Yeah, you could jog. You can do some squats. <laughs> wow. Or you can just do some sweet dance moves to warm up. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Oh, hey Emily! Yeah, I love learning and I love dancing! <laughs> sure! Awesome! Would you like to see it first? Yeah! Okay, she'll show me the dance first and then I'll learn it! Whoa, that looks really hard. But I think I'm up for it. Will you teach me? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> All right, so how we're gonna start is we're gonna start really close to the floor. So you wanna make a ball pose. You wanna get really close into your knees, right? Okay. Yes, from here you're gonna hold four counts. So you're gonna count in your head. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna make a big star pose, jump your legs out, reach your arms way up to the sky. And you hold this for four counts, and we're gonna count it five, six, seven, eight. Then from here, you're going to shake your hips 
side to side with big arms, starting to the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, now we're gonna learn what's called a grapevine. Yes? Ooh, okay, yes. I don't see any grapes though. <laughs> Silly goose, it's a dance move. So oh, you're gonna okay. start with your hands on your hips. You're gonna step out with the right foot. You step out to the side. You cross this next foot behind, your left foot behind. Then you step out again. Then you're gonna jump together and clap on count four. <laughs> and then you're gonna step out to the side on the left. Step out to the side. Cross that right leg behind. Step the left foot out, out. Jump, clap together. Good. Okay. Then from here, we're gonna make strong arms down at our sides. You're gonna step, touch side to side. So you step out with the right foot, out, then step together with that left foot. Together. Step with the left foot out, right foot together. Step right foot out, left foot together. Good. Step left foot out, right foot together. <laughs> Now, last thing we need to learn. You're gonna step out with your feet, hands are gonna go onto your knees. You're gonna bounce two times. Ready, you bounce. One, two, then you do two claps. Clap, clap. But it has to be at the same tempo as the music. Okay. <laughs> yes. So you bounce. One, two, clap. Now make sure your feet are nice and wide apart because we want to be confident when we dance, right? Okay, yeah, confidence. Absolutely. So we always want to make sure we have nice wide feet. Close feet, not so much. You want nice wide feet. So you do okay. want to try every single move nice and slow all together. Okay. All right. Now remember, we have to count in our head to eight. Okay. Was that it? That was it. Whoa. That was it. I just learned the full dance and I think I'm ready. Am I ready? I think we're ready. Okay, awesome. let's hit that music. One, two, three, four, six. Shake your hips. Great, fine. Step touch. Bounce it. Clap. Yeah, we did it. That was awesome. Good job and good job to you. Thank you so much, Flippy. Yeah, well, thank you for teaching me and them how to dance. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, check this out. Emily's doing another dance. Come on. Whoa, this style of dancing is called jazz. It looks like so much fun. <laughs> You know jazz? Yeah, it's a type of music. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Whoa, do you see what Emily's doing now? Yeah, she's doing ballet. <laughs> and she's actually using the ballet bar. Check it out. That is so cool, and this type of dancing is so elegant. Wow. Whoa! I have been having so much fun dancing today. Woo! <laughs> what? 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 Ah! <laughs> Do you like dancing? <laughs> yeah, I like dancing because it's a great way to Get out your energy and exercise. Yeah, I love being healthy. Hey, 
I have an idea. Why don't I teach you a dance so then you and I can dance together? Would that be fun? Yeah! Okay, the first thing about dancing is what's called rhythm. Yeah, every song has rhythm. It's basically the beat. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clap my hands and then you clap your hands with me at the same time, okay? Ready? Good job! Yeah! You feel this? Yeah! This is rhythm! <laughs> yeah! We did it! Good job! Okay, so now I'm gonna do that again, but now we're gonna want to move our legs to the rhythm, okay? Ready? Here we go. Here we go. We got it. Double time. Good job. Okay, now that we understand rhythm and beats, now we can learn the parts of the dance, okay? First thing, yeah, you see this up there? Yeah, what machine is that? Yeah, that is a bulldozer. So we're gonna dance as if we're bulldozers. First, you need to put your hands up like it's the blade of the bulldozer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then you need to move your legs and dance like a bulldozer. Yeah, there we go. We're totally like bulldozers. <laughs> I love bulldozers. Whoa. <laughs> okay, all right, so that's gonna be the first dance move. And then the second dance move, yeah, we're gonna act like kangaroos. Yeah, do you know what a kangaroo is? Yeah, whoa, <laughs> such cool animals. <laughs> okay, the cool thing about kangaroos is how high they can jump. All right, put your hands like this, and then jump really high. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, I bet you can do that one really good at home. <laughs> Okay, now the third dance move we're gonna do is, yeah, that's a dinosaur, isn't it? What kind of dinosaur is that? Yeah, a T-Rex, good job. Okay, so the funny thing about T-Rexes are they have short little hands, yeah, like that. <laughs> but they're actually really fierce, so you have to act fierce. Rah. <laughs> okay, but now we need to put that all into rhythm and a beat. Yeah, and then you act like a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, those are the three dance moves, but now Remember, we need a rhythm and a beat. So, hit it, DJ. Remember the first one? Yep, bulldozer dance. Good job. <laughs> Plow the dirt. Wow, that was really good. I'm really proud of you. That was such a good bulldozer dance. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go into the second dance move. Remember it? It was an animal, and it jumps really high. Yeah, a kangaroo. Ready? Wow, 
Wow, kangaroos are so cool. They can jump so high. Woo! All right, shake it off. Okay, now for the third dance move, the T-Rex. Ready? Rah! 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 Oh, I am so tired. Did you see that? Yeah, that was so much fun doing all those sweet dances today at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Wow! <laughs> I sure do love to dance. Hey, if you're around this area, you can come and do the very same creative movement class that I did today. Wow, that was so much fun. Or, yeah, I'm sure you have a local performing arts studio where you can learn to dance. Yeah, there's a lot of cool dances you can do, like jazz and tap and ballet. Whoa, even acro. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, I'm going to go and take a nap now at home. I am so tired. <sighs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at what's behind me. Whoa, this is a snowmobile, and this snowmobile belongs to my friends, Magnus and Hans. <laughs> and today, you and I are going to learn about Snowmobiles! Yeah! Hey, I forgot to ask you. What colors do you see on the snowmobile? Yeah! I see the color red, black, white, and... Hey! Look down here! There's some silver! <laughs> hey! Come back here! Wow, look at this tree. What color is this tree? Looks like icy green and brown and what else? Yeah, the snow is white. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I love playing in the snow, <laughs> but it's so cold. This snowmobile is so powerful! Do you know how the snowmobile gets all of its power? Yeah! The engine! Whoa! Check that out! Looks like we have... Oh! This looks like maybe the engine oil! Whoa! That's what helps cool the engine. Um, let's see. Ooh, looks like the flywheel, some gears. Oh. And look at this. This is a front shock. Yeah, this is part of the suspension 
of the snowmobile. Whoa, and look down here. This snowmobile has two skis, one right here and one over there. Whoa, that is what's on the front to help steer the snowmobile. Come on up to the other side. Whoa, the other engine compartment. Whoa, looks like we have the exhaust in there. You definitely don't want to touch that. That is really hot. Oh, and we have the intake, and we have the engine way down in there. Whoa, this engine is so compact with so much power, all in the front of the snowmobile. Come to the back, check this out. Wow, this is the track of the snowmobile. You see these big things poking up? Wow. That helps it grip into the snow so it doesn't slip and slide. Yeah, that's kind of like the tread on a wheel and tire. But this snowmobile does not have a wheel or a tire. <laughs> oh, come check this out. All right, this is the dash of the snowmobile right here. This is where it tells you how fast you're going, your engine temperature. Oh, and look at right here. Yeah, the key. Yeah, you know what that does. When you have that in, then you turn it, and that is how you start the snowmobile. But it's not like a car where you just start it with a key. You have to pull this. Check this out. So for safety, we have the brake, and not for safety, we have the throttle. Here we go! has been so much fun riding this snowmobile. Oh geez, I sure do love the seasons, don't you? Yeah, it's so cool how you can do fun things during the spring and the summer and the fall and the winter. Yeah, let's go. Look at what we found! Yeah, we found a river! Whoa! This has been so much fun exploring with the snowmobiles and finding this river. Hey, do you know what animals live in this river? Yeah, probably some fish! Whoa! I definitely don't want to be a fish right now and swim in that water. That water looks so cold! <laughs> Check out this yellow vehicle. Whoa! Do you see something unique about it? Yeah, check this out. Just like how the snowmobile has tracks, yeah, it doesn't have wheels and tires. Yeah, 
the Jeep also has tracks. It doesn't have wheels and tires as well, just like the snowmobile. <laughs> snowmobiling at Leavenworth Snowmobile Tours at the Mountain Springs Lodge in Plain, Washington. Ho, ho, ho. Do you like snowmobiling? Yeah, I do too. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Bye-bye! Hey! It's me, Flippy, and today we're here at Medieval Times in Orlando, Florida. Whoa! And look at it, it's a giant castle, <laughs> yeah! Whoa, we are at medieval times. That was a really long time ago, like all the way in the 11th century. Whoa! <laughs> Did you know back in medieval times, people didn't drive in cars. Ring, 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 ring. No, instead they rode horses. <laughs> so silly. Hey, have you ever wondered what it was like in medieval times? Yeah, me too. Well, today, you and I get to go in the Orlando castle and learn all about it. Yeah. Maybe we can even see a real life knight. That would be so cool. <laughs> Come on, let's find out. It's a real life horse. Hello, Mr. Horse. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. Today, we're here at the village stable. Yeah, a stable is where the horses get to eat yummy food. <laughs> and take naps. <laughs> yeah, and get all ready and geared up for the tournament. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you know what sound a horse makes? <laughs> yeah, that's right. They neigh. You <laughs> neigh. <laughs> neigh. Hey, will you neigh like a horse with me? <laughs> okay, awesome. Here we go. Neigh. 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 <laughs> so silly. Well, this is a really nice horse, but how about you and I go help get the horses all geared up for the tournament? Come on, let's go. Whoa, look at it. This table has all the gear that we're gonna need to get the horses all ready for the tournament. Yeah, and look at this. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a brush to help get all the dust and the dirt out of the horse's back. Yeah. <laughs> this is a body brush, so it's for the body of the horse. Whoa, and look at these ones right here. Hey, spiky. <laughs> yeah, these are brushes for the horse's mane and tail. Yeah, they have longer bristles so that they can get through the hair, kind of like the hair on your head. Ooh, ooh, ee. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and look at this. This is everything we need to put on the horse. We have the saddle pad. Yeah, this saddle pad is really soft and squishy. Ooh, squish, 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 squish. <laughs> and this goes on the horse first to make sure that the saddle is super comfy. Yeah. Whoa, and look at it. This is a really big saddle. The saddle can whoo, be kind of heavy and it goes on the back of the horse so that the knights can ride all around. <laughs> and it buckles in, so it's kind of like 
a belt for the horse. Woo! <laughs> well, we'll just clip that in, get on top, and ride the horse super fast. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and this, this is the last thing that we need to put on top of the horse. This is a comparison. Yeah, and this comparison is the color green and brown. Yeah, good job. Yeah, the comparison helps the knight tell one horse and knight from another horse and knight. So they don't all look the same in their metal armor and the white horses. Yeah, so this comparison, this will go over the saddle last. Well, that's everything we need. Now it's time to get ready to get the horse ready for the tournament. Okay, first, let's grab a brush. Come on. Oh, hello. Hey, look, this is a really beautiful horse. Hello, his name is Humo. Hi, Humo. <laughs> first, let's brush Humo's fur, his hair. <laughs> Horses don't have fur. So silly. <laughs> yeah. Brush, brush, brush. All the dust. Brush off all the dust. <laughs> yeah. And now that we've cleaned Humo and got all the dust and dirt out of his back, we can put on the saddle pad, the saddle, and the comparison. Let's go. We helped Humo get all dressed up for the tournament. And look, now he's the color green and brown. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was so much fun helping Humo get all geared up. But now I think it's time for you and me to get all dressed up for the tournament ourselves. <laughs> OK, we're about to go, but I think Humo's done a really good job being a horse. And he's had all of his yummy vegetables and fruit for dinner. So we're going to give him a sugar cube. <laughs> Hello. Good job, Humo. Woo, <laughs> that tickles. Woo, <laughs> Humo, you're such a good horsey. Well, now it's time to go get dressed up ourselves. Come on. Hey, it's me, Knight Flippy. <laughs> That's so silly. I'm not a real knight, but today you and I get to learn about what it was like to be a knight a thousand years ago. Whoa, that was a really long time ago. Have you ever wondered what it was like to be a knight? Hmm, well, you had to be brave and you had to ride horses. Nay, 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 <laughs> so silly. And you had to be strong and kind. Whoa, on second thought, it actually is pretty tricky being a real knight. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at it, a real knight. And now it's time to knight Sir Blippi. I am so excited because you and I don't only get to learn about knights, but I get to become a knight. But first, I need to complete three knights challenges. Whoa, and look at this. This is the first knights challenge. It's called the Big Rings Challenge. <laughs> yeah. So the way to win the Big Rings Challenge is to take a lance, which is like a really long stick, and to put it through two rings in a row. One here and one way down there. <laughs> if you only get one, you gotta do it again until you get both to complete the Knight's Challenge. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. But first, I need to get some Knight's gear. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. It's a real life Knight's Lance. Whoa. And this is really heavy. This is what I'm gonna use to try to complete the Big Rings Challenge. Hmm. But what's a knight without its trusty steed? And hey, look, this is my trusty horse, Brownie. Hey, hello, Brownie. Hello. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I have my lance and I have Brownie, so we're all ready to do the Knight's Challenge. Let's go. Yay! Okay, here we go. Ready, Brownie? Nay! 
<laughs> okay, I'm ready to night's challenge. <laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh! I only got one ring! That means that Brownie and I are gonna have to try the Knight's Challenge one more time! Nay! Brownie thinks so too. Okay, let's go! <laughs> okay, let's try this again! I think I can do it! Let's go! Whoa, that was really hard. I'm getting tired after that night's challenge. But look, we got both of the rings. <laughs> Thanks, Brownie, for helping me out. Hey, <laughs> that was so much fun. And now it's time to move on to the second night's challenge. Let's go find out. Come on. Whoa, Brownie. <laughs> yeah, we completed the first night's challenge. We're really close to becoming a knight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the second night's challenge is even harder, needing agility and strength and really good horse riding skills. <laughs> yeah, it's called the flag toss. It's when me and another knight will toss a flag back and forth three times. And if you catch it all three times, then you complete the challenge. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna need a little bit of help. So my friend, Sir David, is gonna help me out. Okay. Ready, Sir David? Ready. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We caught the flag three times. <laughs> this is so much fun. Thanks, Brownie. Nay! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all we have left is the third challenge. And it's a really, really tricky one. It's called the Knight's Dress Up Challenge. I have to get all geared up with all the night clothes in under 10 seconds. Whoa, I don't think I'm gonna need your help on this one, Brownie. Bye-bye, I'll see you later at the stables. Nay! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I think I'm all ready. Put the time on the clock. Here we go! Whoa, this armor is so cool. Yeah, we did it! We did all three of the Knight's Challenges, and now I get to be Knight Blippi! Woohoo! I'm so excited that I think you and I should do a victory dance! Okay, here we go! Yeah! That was so awesome! Now I get to be a Knight! <laughs> Not so fast, Blippi. Oh, hey, Sir David! There's still two more challenges left. Huh, two more challenges? but we already completed three. I guess two more won't be so hard. So what are the next two challenges? Well, first you have to learn the Knight's Code. Whoa, do you know what the Knight's Code is? Me neither. Uh, Sir David, what's the Knight's Code? A Knight is sworn to valor. Okay, so we need to be really brave. His heart knows only virtue. Okay, so that means hmm, we'll be really kind. His blade defends the helpless and his might upholds the weak. Hmm. That means you should always help others who need some help. And his words speak only truth. Always tell the truth. <laughs> Those are easy. We can do that. What's the other challenge? Well, the other challenge is the javelin toss. Whoa, that sounds like it's gonna be really, really hard. But hey, I got all my knight's armor and I think we can do it. Yeah, okay, here we go. Woo. I think I'm all ready to go. Come on. Wow, I can't believe we get to meet the queen and start the knighting ceremony. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. I, Doña Maria Isabella, queen of this castle and ruler of this realm, of the Blippi, once, twice, and thrice as knight of the realm. <laughs> yeah, we did it. <laughs> Good job. 
Thanks for helping me complete all of the knight's challenges. They were really tricky, but we did a really good job. <laughs> it was so much fun learning all about knights from the 11th century, which was really, really long ago. And it was nice that we learned that knights aren't only strong, but they're kind and they like to help others. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi! Good job! <laughs> Well, I guess it's Sir Blippi now. <laughs> so silly. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye! Whoa! Oh. Whoa. Wow! Hey! It's me, Blippi! Hi, I'm Mika! Yeah, and it's sure raining outside today. Yeah, a super rainy day, but luckily we are indoors for some inside fun. Yeah! <laughs> Today, we're at Create Space in North Hollywood, California. Yeah, and I'm so excited because we get to make art here. Yeah, art is awesome. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Woo. <Ooh. laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Look. Look at all these paintings. Yeah, there's so many and they're all in frames. Oh, yeah. All the frames are the same shape. Yeah, do you know what shape that is? Hmm. Yeah, it kind of looks like a square. That's right, because there's one, two, three, four sides. Yeah, but look, Mika, these are longer than these. You're right, which hmm. means it's a, a rectangle. rectangle. Wow. Okay, all the frames are the same shape, mm -hmm. so they're all the same. Yeah. But look, all the paintings are different. Yeah, that's the cool thing about art. It's such a fun way to express yourself and everyone comes out with different pictures. Yeah, like this one, so colorful. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at this one. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa it's kind of spooky. Yeah, I love the teeth. <laughs> oh, and look, an animal. Ooh. An elephant. Yeah. Woo. Ooh. Ooh. That is so cool. And look at the two little birds. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> on this table. Whoa, looks like a lot of cool things. Yeah, oh, look, crayons. Whoa, so colorful. Yeah. So many different crayons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa, look at this, a cutting board. What? You usually find that in a kitchen. Yeah, I know. Interesting. Huh. And what's in there? Oh, looks like one of those things that you use to water plants with. Yeah, uh, there's water in there. Oh yeah, probably shouldn't pour that out. <laughs> Whoa. Look at these. Molds, something else you might find in a kitchen. Yeah, you can even put chocolate in these. Oh, yummy. <laughs> Whoa, hey, and a skillet. What? Oh, we must be cooking today. Yeah, cooking art. Hi. Oh, Hi. hey, who are you? <laughs> I'm David. Whoa, nice to meet you, David. Nice I'm Blippi. Yeah. Hi, Blippi. I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Hi. Oh, what do you do here? Well, this is my art studio. Wow, oh. cool. We love it here. It's yeah. really cool. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's been a dream of mine to do this forever, and my dream came true. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I would love for you guys to try a little project with us today. Oh, wow. That's fun. Did you figure out what all this stuff is for? Uh, oh. No, we couldn't figure it out, but we saw everything that was here. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're going to cook. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> we're going to we... cook crayons. Cooking what? crayons? You can't eat crayons. Yeah. So these crayons are going to be reused. We're going to turn them from something old to something new. Oh, Whoa, cool. How are we going to do that? Let's get started. OK. <laughs> First of all, here. Oh, here these you go. are aprons. Thank you can you. put them on to keep your, your cool clothes nice and clean. Oh, oh, thank you for saying that we look so cool. Oh, yeah, thanks so much. <laughs> we try every day. <laughs> OK. I, so, so we're going to pour water into this skillet. Okay. It's going to get hot. Okay. And while it's heating up, we're going to take those crayons and break them into pieces. Okay. Sprinkle them in the molds. Ah. Put the molds into here. Uh-huh. And then we're going to cook them. Whoa. So we're going to mix these crayons together. They're going to melt. We're going to put them in there. And then we're going to make rainbow crayons. Rainbow crayons. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Well, shall we? Yeah. Sure. All right. Pick your favorite colors. Okay. okay. All right. Lippy? Ooh, let's see. Well, I like blue and orange. Oh, yeah, he really <laughs> does. Okay. And I love purple and yellow. Yeah, check it out. Blue and Ooh, orange. Ooh, there's some yellow. I there. like orange and orange. <laughs> orange and orange? Yeah. Oh, here right. you go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so then yeah. we break them in there. Okay, 
Okay, you ready? Yeah, can okay, we put it in there now? Yeah. All right. So go ahead and, um, if you don't mind, it's gonna get hot, so okay. just be really careful. Ooh, okay. Oh, good job. All if right. something gets this hot, it's a good idea to do it with a grown up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Whoa. and here's another that one. That looks great. Okay. Just set it right in the water. Okay. Like and then make and a little bit this here. one. Perfect. Oh, oh, you guys, these are gonna be so cool. <laughs> I'm so excited. Nice work. <laughs> Thank right. you. I love your colors. <laughs> Thanks. Right. Um, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna stay here and watch this cook. Okay. Okay. And if you want, go and explore the art studio. All right, that okay. sounds like fun. Okay, okay. Yeah, Bye, thanks guys. so much. <laughs> Have fun. Wow. wow. Whoa, look at this place. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, look at all these scissors. Whoa, ooh, and look. Paint brushes. Yeah, a lot of paint brushes. Wow. Sizes. Yeah. Ooh, and some tape. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Stick things together. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool how there's a lot of different materials to use for art. That's right. Oh, Whoa. And there's even more over here. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, check it out. More tape. Ooh, some blue tape, one of my two favorite colors. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, and look, purple tape, my favorite color. <laughs> yeah, and look, Mika. My other favorite color. You know me so well. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Woo. It looks like we have a bunch of glue. Whoa, oh. that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoa, Mika, check it out. Yeah. Whoa, look at all of this stuff. It looks like it's all set up for us to make a picture together. Yeah, check it out. This is our canvas. Mm -hmm. Should we make a picture together as a team? Yes. <laughs> okay, we have paint and oh, yeah. cotton balls. Huh. Paint. Wait, some feathers. Where's the paintbrushes? There's mm. nothing on the table. <gasps> I know. What? We use these things to get the paint onto the canvas. Oh yeah, you're right. So you're basically saying we can use, say, this green and then put it on this cardboard and then smash it down? Yeah. All right, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's, let's see. Yellow. I'm gonna start with a hey, yellow. All right, and here's some blue. Ugh. All right, what are you gonna use first? Um, let's see. Well, I have yellow, green, and blue. Okay, Ooh. I'm gonna use some blue, and I'm gonna use some aluminum foil. Ooh, what's it gonna look like? All right, let's see. All right, dip, 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 dip. <laughs> Whoa. All right, cool. now your turn. I want to take this car and I want to put it in the green paint here. Oh, Thank okay. you, Blippi. Oh, you're welcome. Whoa. All okay. right. See what it looks like. Speed painting. Whoa, Whoa. yeah. Oh, that looks cool. Wow, yeah. Some more on there. Looks like some mud tracks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to try Oh, Ooh, sure. Ooh, I'm going to use some yarn. Whoa, oh. that's going to look silly. Yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Now this is a masterpiece. <laughs> it sure is. Whoa, look. It went Whoa. over the wet paint. Yeah. It looks like the vehicle is sliding around, yeah. slipping and sliding. Ooh, <laughs> I wonder what a feather would look like. Ooh, you want to try some? trying some blue yeah. here. Okay. Whoa. A blue, blue orange? Whoa. <laughs> that, now that's my kind of burn. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, that looks so pretty, Mika. Thank you. Wow. Ooh, I have an idea. Do you think that red works? Let's try it. All right. Okay. This is going to be so silly. <laughs> okay, it works. Oh, it works really well. All right. I'm going to need your help for this one. Okay. Okay. Do you see this? Yeah. Okay. Will you pass me the red? Sure. Okay. Much. <laughs> yeah, I want to put the wheels through the red here. Whoa. Oh, and some cotton balls. All right, oh. I'm going to mix all the colors together. All right. Let's go for a ride. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> this is such a beautiful painting. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, look, oh. circles. Whoa. Hello. 
Whoa, here we go. All right, whoa, this looks like such a great painting. Oh, it's fun painting with you. <laughs> yeah, you too, Mika. Wow, does it look good or does it look good? It looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, shall we let it stay right here to dry? Yeah, let's go find something else to do. Okay, <laughs> here you go. <laughs> like box monsters. Whoa, they're so silly looking. Oh yeah, whoa, look. The eyes are on top of the head. Whoa. <laughs> and whoa. look, this one has horns. Whoa. And sharp teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and this one has rainbow eyes. Whoa. And a bow tie just like me. Hey, that's right. Button rainbow colors. <laughs> <laughs> and Libby, it looks like there's other bow ties and things here. Oh, and some blank monsters. <gasps> we can make our own monsters. Yeah. Ooh, what kind of monster should we make? Hmm. hmm. I know what I'm going to make. What? I'm going to make a Blippi monster box. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> I'll make a Mika box. Oh, that's a great <laughs> idea too. Whoa. Ooh, look. <laughs> These look like my glasses. Oh, that's perfect. Hello. Okay, let's see what we oh. have. Oh, ooh, look, a pink bow tie if you want to pee. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, it looks like a really big uh, eyebrow. Yeah. <laughs> How do I look? Hello. Ooh, very funny. <laughs> or this could be a very long, silly nose. Whoa. <laughs> now that is silly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, I'm so excited to see your monster. Here we go. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, it looks just like you, Mika. Oh, thank you. <laughs> monster Mika. Wow. Oh, look at yours, Flippy. That looks amazing. Oh, thank you. Hello. <laughs> so silly looking. Well, shall we have a monster box puppet show? Yes, we shall. Yeah. Hey, I have an idea, though. What? Shall we switch? <gasps> Oh, yeah! It's gonna be fun! <laughs> Hello! I'm Monster Blippi! Hello! Whoa! Hey, Blippi! Oh, I mean, Monster Blippi! You look fabulous! That's right! Ha 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 ha! I'm a silly monster! Looking good, Mika! Oh, thank you so much! Oh, did you notice my purple and yellow hair? Of course I did! It does look fabulous! Oh, you are so silly, Blippi. That's why you're my best friend. No, you're my best friend. Oh, no, you're my best friend. Oh, Mika Monster, we have fun together. Yeah, we do. We go on such fun adventures. That's right. Hey, let's go on another one. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> that was awesome, Mika. That was so funny. <laughs> yeah, and that was really fun making these monster boxes together. Yeah, we made a lot of cool things today. We <laughs> made that really beautiful painting together on the canvas. <laughs> yeah, and those rainbow crayons. Wow, yeah. I bet they're going to be so colorful. I know. Hey. Oh, yeah. Do you think they're finished yet? I don't know. Let's go check. Come on. <laughs> Wow. Oh, hey. Hi. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, you. are they done? They are done. You want to see them? Wow. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. A star. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Oh, and a ladybug. Woo. So cute. And so colorful. Yeah, they look great. Wow. You guys want to try them out? Yeah. yeah. Here, follow me. Ready? All right. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa, they do change colors when you use them. Whoa, well, look, I can see blue and purple in mine. Wow! Isn't that fun? Mine went from yellow to green to orange. Whoa, I can see yellow in mine now, too. Woohoo! I love what you guys are doing. That looks fantastic. Wow. So fun! That was so much fun making art today. Yeah! <laughs> 
Oh. What else did you guys do at the studio? Oh, oh, well, we made some really cool monster boxes. Yeah, that was I love really monster boxes. funny. Yeah. And we painted a canvas together. <gasps> yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, I'll go ahead and clean this up if you guys want to go and see if your stuff's ready. Oh, oh yeah. We Maybe see. it's dry. Yeah. <laughs> All Thank right. you so much. Thanks yeah. for coming in. It Thank was you. so nice to meet you guys. Nice All right. to meet you See you later. again. Bye. Wow. Oh, let me look. It is dry. Yeah, wow. it looks really nice. Oh, yeah, I love the green and the tire tracks that you made. Yeah, and here are the circles that we made with paper tubes. Oh, yeah, and you can't forget about my piece of tape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, should we go hang it up? Yeah, let's do it. All right, whoa. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> now everyone can see it. Yeah, well, here we go. What a beautiful masterpiece! Yeah, I really love all of the colors that we used and that we made it together. Yeah, we did such a great job. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. Ready? Yeah. B L I P P I. Flippy! Whoa! And if you want to search for me, you can spell my name, Mika. Can you spell my name with me? Yeah. Awesome. M E E K A H. Mika. What a fun video. And it was so much fun making art today together. Art is so much fun because it's all so unique. I love art too, Blippi. Whoa! <laughs> hey, Monster Box Blippi. Hello! Hello! <laughs> all right, see you again. Bye bye! See you again. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> This fire truck is so fast! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're here at the Caton Children's Museum in Santa Monica, California. And I am so excited because we get to learn about all kinds of things. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! Come on! Ring. There are so many fun things to explore. Let's go! It. You know what it is? It looks like a garden <laughs> that's really fun to play in. Let's go inside. Look, there are so many different blocks and colors. Yeah, we have a blue cube <laughs> and hmm, a red rectangle Ooh. <laughs> and we have a green cube. Whoa! <laughs> and they're so squishy and soft. Whoa! <laughs> they're so fun to play with. Whoa! <laughs> it's a tunnel. I'm gonna go through the tunnel. See you on the other side. Ooh, ooh. That was a really small tunnel. <laughs> hey, do you know what kind of animal this is? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. This animal likes to go moo. <laughs> yeah, this, oh, this is a cow. Hello, <laughs> it's so cute. Whoa, look at what it is. Do you know what that is? <laughs> yeah, it's a giant rescue helicopter. <laughs> I think you and I should go inside and check it out, come on. Place. It's so cool. Whoa. And this is the cockpit. <laughs> yeah. Inside this helicopter, there are all different controls of the helicopter. We have different levers and gears that tell you how fast you're going and if you have enough fuel. Whoa. <laughs> and there's all types of switches on the ceiling. <laughs> Whoa, I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, and look, 
there are also a lot of really colorful lights that tell you what's going on. Yeah, we have a really bright white light and a green light and a red light. <laughs> well, it's time to take off. Okay. That was so much fun riding in this helicopter. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. It's a giant fire truck. <laughs> Uh-oh, but it looks like it's missing part of its wheel. Hello, wheel. Maybe we can find the other side. <laughs> oh, and there are so many cool levers. Yeah, vehicles are amazing. Helicopters are kind of like fire trucks because they have different gauges, buttons that help control it and move really fast. <laughs> hey, I love the horn on a fire truck. Let's go inside and see if it works. I'm driving the fire truck. Make sure you buckle up. Okay, here we go. Whoa, that horn was really loud. <laughs> Let's see what else there is. Whoa, look at this. It's a rescue boat. This rescue boat is on some really rocky waves. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> it's so much fun. And it's squishy. Whoa, the waves are going so fast and they're so huge. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> the water is nice and cool. Yeah, because it's made out of a ball pit. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> this is so amazing. I really am having so much fun playing with you today. Hey, and look at this. It looks kind of like a really big picture frame. Yeah, it's a big square. Hmm. And it has some pulleys and a steering wheel. When I move this steering wheel, whoa, it moves up and it makes bubbles. <laughs> Let's see if we can make the biggest bubble with this giant bubble blower. <laughs> was an amazing bubble, but it popped because that's what bubbles do. They get really big and then pop, <laughs> they pop. <laughs> this is so cool. It looks like mountains and oceans and there's a little shark. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> This shark is having a really fun time going through the ocean. It's so fast! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it did a big jump! Whoa! Whoa! And look at this! This is really cool! It's a submarine! <laughs> yeah! And it has its propeller that helps it move really fast underwater and it looks like it has a scuba diver driving it. <laughs> Whoa, I think it's gonna swim with the shark too. <laughs> Look at this. See, when I press this big button, something really amazing and really wet is going to happen. Are you ready? Keep your eye over here and your eye over here. Here we go. I'm gonna press the button on the count of three. One, two, <laughs> Did you see it? Whoa! Now let's press them really fast. Uh-oh, looks like they don't like to be pressed really fast. 
there are so many cool things to explore with water. There's so many boats. Whoa, look at all of the boats. <laughs> There's so many. Yeah, we have one, two green boats, and we have one, two purple boats, and we have, well, we have one, two, three orange boats. <laughs> These are so cool. And if you have an orange boat and a blue boat, you have blippy boats. Woo! <laughs> This is so cool. There's all these different water wheels and water. <laughs> Whoa. And looks like we can take this little island and move it all around. Bye-bye, <laughs> octopus. Hey, do you know what kind of animal this is? <laughs> yeah, this right here is a sea turtle. And it's so cute. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, look, I think I can get on the inside. Hello. Whoa, there's water all around me. <laughs> Woo. This is a really silly crab. There are so many animals. Whoa, but I think there's a really cool wall that we should go explore. <laughs> Let's go see what it is. This is a magnetic wall. Yeah, it's a giant wall that's magnetic, which means squares like this that have little magnets will stick to the wall. So if you take the square and you put it on the wall, no hands, whoa! <laughs> and sometimes the magnets are so strong, you can throw it and it stays by itself. Whoa, and you can make all kinds of cool shapes and pictures. Hmm, so let's see if we can make a picture. Move some of these out of the way. Start with a really big orange square. And we'll put it right there. And next, let's grab two more orange squares. What color should I use next? Hmm, we already used orange, so let's use blue. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go with one, two blue triangles. And let's grab two blue squares. And hmm, we're almost done, but I think we should make two Use an orange and we'll use a blue one too. <laughs> yeah, it's a blippy magnetic castle. King Blippy. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, and do you know what this is? Yeah, look at it. This right here, yeah, it's a gear. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. Yeah. And when you take a gear and you put one gear next to another gear, when you turn this one, the other gear will turn too. And now the really fun part. When you take one gear connected to another gear, you have two gears moving. But if you connect those two gears to the, all the gears, then they all move together. <laughs> Teamwork is really fun, especially if you're a gear. Whoa. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's use a lot of teamwork with the gears. <laughs> Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> They're all moving together, but I'm only touching this one right here. See, they're moving and helping each other out. Whoa, super fast. <laughs> This is so much fun. This place is amazing. And look above us. 
it looks like there's a tunnel in the ceiling. <laughs> I have had so much fun, but I think you and I should go up into the tunnel. Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> Really tricky moving through these nets. <laughs> hey, I think it looks like there's a window over by the water area. Hey, look, it's a window. <laughs> Hello. And it looks like the water area is a giant spinner. <laughs> Whoa, that's so silly. Huh, yeah, it's so cool because. When we were down there, it just looked like some islands and some oceans and some water. But because we have a different perspective, yeah, a different perspective. That means a different way of seeing it or a different way of looking at it. Yeah, we see with our different perspective that it actually is a giant spinner. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. It's so wobbly. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> so silly. Wow, we crossed over the yellow bridge. And now we're all the way on the other side. Okay. This is so cool. It's a giant purple triangle. <laughs> yeah, because look, the triangle has three sides. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look over here. Hello, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Oh, hi there, Blippi. Uh, my name is the amazing Andres. Ooh, nice to meet you, Andres. <laughs> Whoa, are you juggling? Oh yeah, I am juggling all right. Andres is really good at juggling. <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind, Flippy. You know, it's actually not that hard to juggle three balls. It just takes a lot of practice. Ooh, you know, practice. <laughs> great things start off with one ball, okay. like so. See, catching it good. And then, when I'm ready, I'll go two. Huh. And Whoa. then, when I feel really good, I'll throw in a third ball. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> well, Andres, that is so cool. But what else do you do here? Oh, I do all kinds of fun stuff. I get to spend most of my time coming up with really cool ways for people to have fun here at this museum. <laughs> well, that's really good because we want to have lots of fun too. Hmm. Well, is there anything fun that we could do? You know, I got something perfect for you. Ooh. You like to make art? Yeah, I love making art. Hey, maybe we could make an art project. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> got just the thing. Come over here, we'll go to the art crawl room. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna wanna step in here first. Thank you, Andres. All right. All right, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Look at where I am. We're inside of an art studio. Whoa, this place is so cool. And look at all the things that are here. We have all kinds of different paint where we can paint really beautiful pictures and make really cool artwork. Hmm. We have some pink paint and a lot of colors actually. Some black paint. Ooh. <laughs> And we have some green, ooh, and it's got some confetti in it, whoa. <laughs> and it looks like we have a lot of other colors. Hmm. We have, ooh, this paint is gold and it's really shiny. <laughs> Maybe we can think of something really beautiful to paint with this gold paint. Hmm. But first, we need something to use as a paintbrush. Hmm. Oh, hey, look, <laughs> I have a brush and some paint, and now oh, we just need to think about what should we paint? Well, 
you can start with something really easy. Maybe make a gold smiley face. <laughs> One eye, two eyes, and a really big smile. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He's so happy. Since we can paint all over this room, let's see how much we can cover and paint. Okay, I'm gonna paint all over the room. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, I think I'm gonna need two rollers and a lot of paint. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, now let's do it with some pink paint. Okay. Painting is so fun. <laughs> Especially when you can paint all over the place. <laughs> and get a little messy. But just make sure when you're painting, it's paper you're painting on and not the actual walls. <laughs> yeah, I like to paint on the paper, but not on the actual wall. <laughs> This was so much fun painting with you. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun playing with you here at the Caton Children's Museum in Santa Monica, California. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. Hi, Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Flippy.